Hi folks and welcome to a quick Dreaditorial style movie review. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about The Witch, which just came out and I saw it last night. And let me tell you, it is something else. This is the finest caliber of art film horror. Horror art film. I, I don't know where to put it. It's... It's something else. And if you just want to stop there and take this as a strong recommendation, you should definitely go see it if you're if you're a horror fan, but there are definitely some caveats here. So uh, let's go and talk about the plot just a little bit. And I don't want to get into too many spoilers, but here goes. So the basics of the wish is that there's a family that's moved with the Puritans over from England in the early 1600s, and they've gotten kicked out of their, their Puritan plantation, presumably for being too pure for the Puritans, I'm guessing, because of the ridiculous amount of religious guilt that the father and every single member of the family just throws down over the course of the movie. And so without giving too much away, there's a tragic event that happens to the family and they have to deal with the, the stresses and the fallout from that event, uh, insulated, uh, fighting amongst themselves, accusing each other of witchcraft and generally just going insane all completely isolated on the borders of this forest that is apparently pretty much perpetually just before dark sometime mid-october in new england um it, it's it's brighter at night if you can understand what that sort of aesthetic looks like. At night, the film is the most colorful that it'll be at any point throughout the movie. All the daytime scenes are just drenched in this weird gray-blue, pale, you know, New England leaves have fallen and doesn't look good anymore melancholy. The people actually look like people at night because flames are orange, which at least gives them their skin tones a color and makes them look like people and not these weird, bloodless, colonial zombies. What I will say about the horror aspects of The Witch is that it is not a scary movie. It's not scary. It's not frightening. It's not terrifying. Uh, it, it has no overt elements of, of horror. It, it plays on a very different level. And I don't think I've ever seen a movie that leaves you with quite the existentially terrifying impression that there is something fundamentally wrong with the universe. It's unsettling, it's disturbing, it, it, it's dreadful. Uh, these are the sorts of things that I would probably use to describe the witch more than any of the, the normal, you know, spooky, scary, creepy. Um, you know, I've, I've used unsettling to describe other things, and it doesn't hold up to those other things nearly as well as it does to the witch. If you feel okay when you finish watching the witch, you are not paying attention. And if you're okay with signing up for that, then The Witch is an amazing movie. It is disgusting and perversely beautiful like Renaissance art. As far as points that play against it, there are a few bits kind of towards the middle section there where it drags a little bit. It gets kind of annoying uh, as the, the family infights uh, just because I'm not a fan of watching people be jackasses to each other. Uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't do it for me. And there's a lot in the middle stretch of the movie of people being jackasses to each other. If I wanted to make a really minor gripe, I was not a fan of the way that they treated the father's voice. They made him super low and super dramatic, but then everything else there was so realistic that it didn't seem like it. It seemed like it was an artificial attempt to increase the dramatic factor of what was going on by giving this guy this great narration voice, and it just didn't make sense. The, the child acting was definitely hit or miss, especially the brother Caleb. He did some really good turns, and then he just delivered some lines, and I was like, oh. But all in all, even if it did distract you for a little bit, the movie kind of came right back and nailed the dread back in India. Um, they say at the end of the movie that they lifted several lines of dialogue from transcripts of actual recorded events of witchcraft in New England around that time. So what, what's really kind of interesting is there, there are a lot of scenes and there are large chunks of scenes where they stick 
really, really well uh, and correct as far as my understanding goes of the difference uh, between thee and thou and you and your and, and that sort of thing back when English used to have formal and informal tenses. So a lot of the time I thought they were doing a really good job of that and then other times they would just drop it and it felt like make an old-timey dialogue. But if you're not the weird sort of person who would pay attention to that sort of thing, then it'll probably just kind of pass right over you and meld into the colonial era speech of the whole thing. Realistically, this movie probably could have worked really well without dialogue at all, because the visual aspects of it are so good and stick with you. Uh, it's haunting. It's gray. It's haunting. It's that sort of movie. The ending was absolutely phenomenal. It's just like flicking a raw nerve. It was that sort of experience watching it. And then the movie ends. And I have never in my life seen the ending of a movie where an entire theater is so quiet you could hear a pin drop just because of that intense feeling of unease that this is the kind of movie that it leaves you with. I could definitely see a case being made for the witch being sort of pretentious, but I don't think it actually was. I think it really did everything that it did for a really good reason, and it was the only way that it could accomplish the emotional reaction that it was trying to get, and I think it, it hit really well on that count. So if you've happened to have seen The Witch, and you liked it, didn't like it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, see you around, folks. Cheers.